Tobacco. Oh, yes. Wait, I don't know. Wait. <laughs> I don't know how to say tobacco in French. <laughs> They're writing to each other and corresponding and setting With up they, experiments. They. Boyle, Gassendi, um, Newton, Leibniz, mm -hmm. um, the the people who were still philosopher physicists in the 1700s and 1800s. They're also now working with Newton's Principia. And it's known pretty early on that the Principia doesn't answer everything. Like the law of gravity is action at a distance because it just says if, I mean, imagine a universe with nothing in it. If two masses just popped into existence, they would somehow immediately feel the force between the two. And there's no like time for the force of gravity to travel and say, hey, other planet, this is what you should feel toward me. Um, no, it's instantaneous. So people knew there were issues. And one of the main people was Emily du Chatelet, who wrote a book called The Foundations of Physics. Ooh. Right. So she's in the mid 1700s. Thank you for that. And she's experiencing a renaissance right now. For a long time, she was just known as like Voltaire's lover and mistress. And she hosted many salons. <laughs> <laughs> Ha 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 